and the first shipment has come in today and it is for oh, yeah. me that's the kicker right there you either that or give me a straw and i'll blow bubbles all day long <laughs> and it, now it's time for the release and this is my favorite part What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at Predatory Fin. If you guys are wondering why it's me today, well Rod's not here. He's not here and I'm not gonna abuse Bob because I don't like to abuse people. But Rod is somewhere very important sourcing fish for us, right? And the first shipment has come in today and it is the tiger muskies. Come check it out. So this is the first time I've ever seen this fish in person. I, I know that it's a native North American fish and it is a man-made hybrid, I believe. I never understood the beauty of these. Rod has always been saying, oh, I've been looking for these fish for years now and never been able to find it. And we finally were able to find somebody that just happened to have a batch. So we got lucky and when we get lucky, you get lucky. So, but uh, these are definitely amazing. What do you think, Matt? They're right? awesome. I think for anybody who likes monster fish, these guys get big. I think they get to like three or four feet, if I'm not mistaken. But the beauty of it is that pattern, yeah. that gold body with the tiger stripe. You can show them a photo. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, amazing fish. And even at this size, that pattern is awesome. For any gar lovers out there, I mean, you can't beat this thing. Look at that pattern. You can see it already from the top, but let me try to scoop one out. And you see, it's already starting to develop into the stripes. So as it gets bigger, it starts to develop finer lines and finer stripes. And you see all that gold glistening scales? For oh, yeah. me, that's the kicker right there. I, I love fish that are golden colored yellow and, and shiny fish. It's definitely a big plus for me. So we're here acclimating it now. Typically these are cold water fish. And what we do here is we're gonna slowly, not, I was going down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna slowly bring them up, bring the temperature up over time, get them close to 80 degree water where now they'll be good in your tanks at home. For you guys out there that have outdoor ponds, these can go right in there, no problem. Beauty about these farm raised fish is they take pellet food, which is great. This is a first for me, I'm learning. We're acclimating them very slow. I got my most valuable tool of this whole acclimation process here, <laughs> and it's this cup. Believe it or not, it's this cup. Given that, you know, everything that we have here is so high tech, but we're not set up yet. So back to the old school, oh, yeah. right here. <laughs> so if you guys were wondering, I'm acclimating like this. Nice, high, slow drip. It creates oxygen at the same time. Of course, we already floated the bags for a while already. Oh yeah, it's been a long process. Yes, it's been a long process. We're going really slow, especially I believe these fish came out of ponds. So when they're coming out of ponds, we want to take extra care in going much slower in acclimating the fish. So we're almost done here. If you want to come take a look over here real quick, because at the same time, I got to keep up with this. I got to constantly add oxygen into the water. Good thing is, I don't think these fish need very high oxygen content. So if you guys are wondering what these are, these are the barred muskie. I guess they get bars when they get older. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> I don't could, even know. You could kind of see one long one, but oh, that guy a little bit. Okay, so we actually have three types of muskies here today. We got another one right there on the floor. We'll get to that in a little bit because I just don't want to open up too much and have too much going on at the same time. Right now, they still have oxygen in the bags, so they're good, right? Yep. But once we open too many, I'm going to be running around with my trusty tool here, oh, yeah. creating oxygen. Either that or give me a straw and I'll blow bubbles all day long. <laughs> and I don't think I can do that. But when we get to those uh, spotted, they're really nice. So it's basically your musky or pike shaped fish spots. Beautiful, beautiful spots. And you can go show them a photo yeah. right here as well, you know, what it looks like. But amazing fish, so I'm very happy. Uh, I believe this is another predatory fins first that we're bringing to you guys. I don't think these have been in the market for, uh, in forever, as far as I know, not in the aquarium tree. Rod will be home soon. He's still away. I think he'll be back in a couple of days, right? Yeah. He's working on the other thing. I think you guys know what that is. Uh, should we let them, should we tell them? I think they'll know, but... Uh, we can tell them. Yeah. He's working on the paddlefish. For all uh, you guys who made the orders on the paddlefish, you know, we appreciate your support. Uh, I think uh, the feedback and uh, the turnout from the orders have been overwhelming. It's been really nice, really positive. I was a little bit negative about it. And, you know, Rod was like, yo, we got to get these fish. And, you know, everyone's been dying to get them. And you know what? He was right. So he's working on that. We're doing a team effort here where he's going out there, packing and shipping it personally himself. And I'm here to receive and acclimate and to tank them. 
So this is one of those things that we couldn't do before when I was in LA and he was in Florida. But now that we're together in the same place, this is that type of synergy that, that we create when we're together and we can control from A to Z the whole process to make sure we get you guys the quality you deserve. I think when he gets back, with, oh, well, not, not when he gets back, but when he ships those fish, I'll be sure to show you. Stay tuned, but it's probably gonna show up in like another three seconds. Yeah, for them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you soon. We're done acclimating and it, now it's time for the release and this is my favorite part, watching them go out into their new home. There we go, we're gonna go nice and slow, let them swim out. Look at that, they're curious. They want to be free, but you know, they're hesitating a little bit, but I think they're coming out very nicely. I don't want to just dump them. Because these fish typically in the wild, they just sit still. They're ambush predators, okay? So they would just sit there and wait for their food, and then when they see it, they just dart right at it. Yeah, they're all hanging. Right, they're all just hanging out there. And also, like, when somebody spooks them, they dart off. Yeah. Like, like what happened right there. One, if we tap this thing, I noticed that they take off like that. I love that pattern from the above. In the blue, with the darker blue on the bottom, they look amazing. Yeah. All right, and if you guys want to guess, oh, look at that, see? <laughs> if you guys want to guess how many pieces we got, you can put it in the comments below. Oh, yeah. How's this? Uh, the person that comes the closest within 10, right? We'll be more fair. Okay. Within 10 pieces. If you're the closest in the comments, I'll give you a free one. That's my guarantee. I like that. There's a challenge. They see here, including the little guys. Hey, hey, hey. And, and you can't use that trick uh, that Matt just used on me. I asked him to count the fish before. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Do whatever you want. But what he did was he took a picture of it and he started counting them in a still photo, which wasn't <laughs> quite fair, but you know, I think it's too hard to do because yeah. I, I don't think we gave them like a real view of the whole thing, right? Yeah, so we, we have a chance. Out. Yeah, no, for them. Well, if they can count it like this, coming out like this, you know what? I give it to them. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd still be hard. Really hard. It looks like a bunch of sticks when I zoom out, just sitting yes. in the water. Oh, well, look at that. We're all good. Well, for the sake of being accurate for the website, though, how to do it. Okay, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, so we got to get working on those spotted. Yeah. 